Today I'm going to show you how to make this Hasselback sweet potato with a maple syrup pecan crumble in marshmallows. This is going to be a wonderful dish to add to your Thanksgiving table. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Texas Brew and Barbecue. My name is Ty Sherrill and I'm your official backyard ambassador for Rec Tech. My voice is a little hoarse, so bear with me. We were screaming all night at the high school football game, so <clears throat> if I clear my throat too much, I'm sorry. What are we doing today? We're getting ready for our Thanksgiving feast. We've done a spatchcock turkey. Now we are gonna be doing a pecan maple Hasselback sweet potato. That is a mouthful, but it's going to be great. What is a Hasselback potato? Well, a Hasselback potato is basically you cut slices in the potato and you leave it to where it's almost like an accordion. So what you can do is you can put all kinds of spices in there. We're gonna be doing cayenne pepper and cinnamon. Then we are gonna put maple syrup and pecans and uh, coconut and marshmallows in that. And we are gonna be baking this thing on the Rectech RT700 at 400 degrees. This whole cook takes about an hour, 30 minutes for the potato to cook, and then we're gonna do another 30 minutes to get the marshmallows and the, uh, and the maple syrup and everything in there to really give it that sweet Thanksgiving sweet potato flavor. So we are gonna jump right into this. A Hasselback potato, it seems kinda of hard so you don't cut all the way through the potato, but these guys are gonna be your guides. So if you wanna step in here real quick, we will show you exactly how to do this. You're gonna take two, two wooden spoons, put your potato in the middle like that, kinda of holds the potato. And the spoons keep you from going all the way through. It's a little bit of work, but it's worth the presentation. Now that we have the slices in our sweet potato, you can see how it's like an accordion here. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to take some coconut oil and we're just gonna brush this coconut oil all in there. Well, what if I'm not a fan of coconut? You can use any oil you would like. We are putting coconut shavings in this. Those are optional. You can leave them out if you'd like. If you have a nut allergy, don't use the pecans, but this is gonna add a little more flavor to enhance the coconut. So I've got some cayenne pepper here. We're just gonna put that cayenne pepper on there. Not really measuring it out, just kinda of going with it. And we have some cinnamon. So we'll take the cinnamon and put all in there. Then we're gonna do some salt. And we're gonna do some pepper. All right, so this is the start of it. We have all of our seasonings in there and covered all over it with the coconut oil, salt, pepper, cinnamon, and the cayenne pepper. We are gonna put it on a rack, like so. And we are gonna put this on the RT700 at 400 degrees for 30 minutes. So while that's cooking, we're gonna be doing our, our other mixture with the maple syrup, the coconut, and the pecans. But let's get this on the smoker so it can start. All right, now we're gonna make the maple syrup mixture with the coconut flakes and the pecans in this bowl right here. And this is what we are gonna take and put all over the top of that potato after that 30 minutes. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do about, I'm not gonna really measure this. We're gonna do about a half a cup of syrup, about a quarter cup of coconut flakes-ish. And then we are gonna do our pecans 
All right, now that we have this mixture done, we're gonna wait for the potato to, to cook up. Then we're gonna put this on it. We're gonna stuff some marshmallows in between the slices. This is gonna be great. It's especially gonna be great for Thanksgiving. All right, guys, it's been 30 minutes, so we're gonna take this sweet potato off and we are going to dress it with that mixture that we made. See how we're looking. Oh yeah, it's looking good. Before I put my hands in here, I have cotton gloves on with nitrile on so I can handle a little bit of heat. Still, still hot. All right. The thing is looking fantastic. So we are gonna come up here Beautiful. All right, so we are gonna take this maple syrup, pecan, and coconut mixture that we made, and we are just going to drizzle it all over it. Just like so. The next thing we're gonna do so we're gonna take these marshmallows. We're gonna put inside each, or however many you want. Stuff some down in there. Add one more there. Take the rest of our mixture here, and we will just put it on top. I want to eat it like it is. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this rack and we're going to put it back on the rec tech. We're going to get all these marshmallows melted down in there and get that syrup and those pecans and those coconut flakes just all mixing together. So let's put this back on and we'll see you in another 30 minutes. Okay, we took the sweet potato off of the Rectech. We had it at 400 degrees for about 30 minutes. This one actually came out a little sooner than 30 minutes. So you wanna make sure that you watch your potatoes while they're on there. I like to do a squeeze test, see how soft they are. Um, that's basically my rule of thumb on potatoes on a smoker. 30 minutes is an approximate time. So make sure you keep an eye on those potatoes. Anyway, we took this beautiful, magnificent Hasselback sweet potato off the smoker. It's got the coconut flakes in there. It's got the pecans. It's got marshmallows melted in between and that maple syrup. We're gonna, we're gonna dive into this thing and try it out. Man. That tastes so good. You get a little kick of that cayenne, cinnamon, and the marshmallows. That maple syrup. You definitely have to make this for Thanksgiving. This is a must. All right, guys, happy Thanksgiving, and we will see you in the next video.